The team, we're back here picking up right where we left off in Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. So uh, we're going to get into a safe room here because there's guards down here now. And we need to call that female soldier over the codec. So we'll go hide in here and pick up whatever we can. And um, there we get the one more there. And I've been trying to remember what the number is. I think it is 140.15, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it is. So uh, we're going to find out. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Boxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. <sighs> Sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the- I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. 
I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard, just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you, the real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. All right, so she's gonna let us into the next area that we've got to go to. I'm gonna try out this uh, tranquilizer gun for a minute. I'm thinking, because we can name in the first person just like Metal Gear Solid 2, so let's see if we can uh, make quick work of one of these guys. Oh, there you go, pal. Have a nap. <laughs> that worked. All right, so we're just gonna head on right down here. When I used to play it on the PlayStation, I would wait and wait, thinking a message would come in from her saying, oh, I unlocked it or whatever. But it turns out it doesn't come in until you go down the damn elevator, so <laughs> we're gonna have to take it down. And then uh, she's gonna call us to let us know she opened the door. There it is. Down we go, back to the first floor. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. All right, so clearly she's hell-bent on learning the hard way. <laughs> But uh, anyways, now she's opened up the door for us so we can get in here, and normally... Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. What is it? You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. On the PlayStation, this was like a really hard task because you either needed thermal goggles or you needed him to be smoking, and that would light up the beams. But in this one, they put these convenient little backpacks here, so we can just take them out one at a time. I didn't even think about this at first, uh, at the beginning of the game, but yeah. So they make it a little bit easier for you to get through because this can honestly be more of a challenge than it should be otherwise. 
So doing it this way, just take them out one by one. One more to go. And that's that. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the soul calm, I guess. And we head through the door. Alright, we're out here in a snow environment now. We're going to take out the mine of the, uh, the goggles because there are mines on the ground, and this way we can crawl and try and pick some of them up. Oh, that sounds like a fan that we don't uh, that we don't really want to meet. But all right, so we're gonna just crawl around here a little bit in the snow with our thermal goggles on, and just grab the claymores that we can find. There's probably four or five in this area. There we go. Don't really see any more in the distance. It brought them up on the radar in the original version. I don't know if it, I didn't even notice if it was there or not. Alright, so after nearly surviving there, we're now into our next boss battle here against, well, it's against Vulcan Raven, but it's really just against a tank. Oh my goodness, what a sniper, how, what? <laughs> Oh yeah, isn't that just the laugh that makes things that much worse? Oh. Okay, so we're gonna, oh, we're gonna try to head in. We gotta get it. We gotta time it so the tank fires, and then we're gonna run right past. Here we go. We gotta get in there quick, quick. We're gonna use grenades. Basically, all we're trying to do is lob them onto the top of the tank into where the gunner is sitting, and uh, yeah, to take him out with them. So let's see what we can do. Oh, a good way to start. Oh my goodness, that machine gun does a lot of damage. Right, so we momentarily got the tank. Uh, that doesn't really do anything. I thought maybe the, uh, I thought maybe the. There we go. That one did some damage. I thought when it showed the little grenade thing like that, it meant that um, the tank had been immobilized for a second. But I know you can use a chaff grenade, and that will confuse the tank and make the driver have a hard time driving it. But uh, we're not going to mess around with too much of that. We're just going to throw grenades. All right. Let's see. Oh, where's that one going? Oh. Gotta try and get them as close to the seat as you can. If you get it right on, you can get it right in the hole. And he catches it right in his lap, and then <laughs> and then those ones do major damage, but it's a matter of getting it into there. That's the hard part. 
Oh, these look like they're good shots, too. Oh, no. Good thing we got a couple of rations kicking around. Oh, my goodness. All right, so what, what do we need the soul combo for in this area? It, it doesn't seem like you'd want to use that against these. Oh, we got to stick close to this tank, Tim, because it's just tearing us up. You know? It's smoking and sparking pretty bad. It's moving fine, though. Ah, there we go. Right in his lap. How do you like that, pal? Boom, that one. He felt that one. Oh, wonderful. Another excellent throw. That should take out that one, I'm thinking. Oh, there we go. So there's going to be one more gunner. See how you like this. Oh, no, pal. You're going to see how you like catching one of these right in your lap. That one looked like a pretty good throw. A little bit of damage. Hey, don't you go over there. Come back here. We gotta keep with the... Oh my goodness. We gotta keep with the tank. I don't really feel like getting run over by it. Gonna have that asshole. Oh, move, move, move. Oh, he got that little extra shot off. That took some more health. The bastard. Oh. Alright, we gotta try and cut in here. Oh, that one wasn't too good. Oh... Oh my goodness, Tim, this guy tried to flatten us. Oh. Getting a lot of grenades up on there, but it's not in the right spot, it seems. Oh, there's chaff grenades. Didn't really have a reason to use them, but... There you go, pal, right in your lap. How's that? Alright. All we need is one more hit, really, whether it's a dead aim, a perfect... Oh, no. A perfect throw, or just a regular one, and we'll get him. Oh, it dropped right beside us. Oh, team, we're just lobbing them in every direction now. Oh, my goodness. All right, we got to get in close again. Keep seeing this animation. It looks like we're stalling it, but what the hell was that? What did it? Oh, no, no, team. We're going to have to use our last ration here because it's getting too close for comfort. Oh, there we go. Right in the, right in the pocket. Is this all right? Just giving him the card like that. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your... You see, I told you so. But I will kill him. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran <gasps> away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood.
All right, team, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you like what you see, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to continue looking around this new environment when we get back. But until then, peace.